Jake Paul versus Mike Perry. Mike Perry 2-0 in the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship for the war in his last fight versus Michael Venom Page and in the sixth round in overtime, hung on, won the fight. Jake Paul 5-0 as a boxer, four knockouts, incredible knockouts in his career, has taken a lot of criticism for a guy that's undefeated. Some people don't think he's the real deal. Jake Paul and Mike Perry were sparring earlier in the year. Mike Perry released the footage. Jake said that Mike is easy work, light work. Mike Perry said that Jake Paul is a spoiled you-know-what. Let's be honest, Jake Paul grew up in a mansion. He's from the honors class. He had a golden spoon in his mouth his entire life, and he still does. Mike Perry came from another side of the town. Part of the town that Jake Paul, as a kid, wouldn't have wanted to walk through. Mike Perry has proved himself in the streets. He's a hardcore, you know what, an absolute animal. Self-defense in Orlando, somebody talked to his girl. He smashed the guy unconscious on the streets. He's a vicious guy who will say nasty things, homophobic and racist slurs, restaurant fights in Texas. Even his girl tried to sell him out, said that he slammed her and that he's guilty of domestic violence and bad domestic violence. This is the type of guy that doesn't care. He doesn't care what the law of man is. He listens to the law of himself, of Platinum Mike Perry. And we remember Jake Paul looking really scared against Floyd Mayweather when all that happened, the whole hat thing. Jake Paul looked like he was about to in his pants. And you know what I'm saying? Now, this would be a battle between a guy who is five years younger, Jake Paul, five years younger than Mike Perry, with a five inch reach advantage and a 15 pound advantage in weight. He's the bigger man, but the contrast is completely beautiful. You have a complete separation of everything here. Two totally different guys with totally different mindsets. Mike Perry doesn't care. He has lost fights before. He was in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He's fought great fights in his career. He's won performance of the night two times in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, fight of the night two times in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, and that career is done. What he's doing now is he's going out into the most brutal sport and he's upsetting guys like MVP, who even I thought was gonna beat him. He's shocking the critics right now. He's on fire. Could Platinum Mike Perry, Jake Paul, actually go at it with no gloves on and give us a fight. Give us a war that we want to see. I, I think the smack talk would be incredible going into this fight. And I think the actual fight would be short, sweet, grotesque, and beautiful. And I think that Platinum Mike Perry would win the fight, no doubt. And uh, I got to give him some respect there. He, you are an animal, bro. I think Jake Paul would really be ruined here. Absolutely slaughtered. We would see the reality unfold in, a, in our face. And I think it would be absolutely marvelous. What a fight. Could Jake Paul go out there and just knock Mike Perry out like a bum on the floor, completely flat? It's a possibility. He has incredible power. Wow. Mike Perry wins.